Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam and today we will study prostate ultrasound. Here we have transabdominal images of the prostate in transverse and longitudinal planes. The normal dimensions are 3 into 4 into 2 centimeters and the normal volume shouldn't be more than 30 milliliters. The prostate is best seen with a transrectal approach. These images are transrectal images of the prostate. We can see some zonal anatomy. Here is the peripheral zone and this is the transition zone. The peripheral zone is hyperechoic than the transition zone. This hypoechoic channel leading towards the bladder is the prostatic urethra. Most of the tumors and cancers occur in the peripheral zone and benign prostatic hypertrophy mostly occurs in the transition zone. Calcifications in the prostate appear hyperechoic and may have posterior acoustic shadowing if the calcifications are large enough. Benign prostatic hyperplasia is an abnormal enlargement of the prostate. The prostate volume will be greater than 30 milliliters. We can see an enlarged prostate here. In a transrectal view, we can see more detail. BPH occurs in the transition zone and we can see compression of the peripheral zone by the transition zone. Benign prostatic hyperplasia can lead to intravesical prostatic protrusion. It is the enlargement of the prostate towards the bladder floor. This imaginary line is the boundary between the bladder and the prostate. And here is the protruding prostate. Grade 1 protrusion will measure 5 millimeters or less. Here we have grade 2 intravesical prostatic protrusion. The prostate protrusion is increased here, measuring between 5.1 to 10 millimeters. In grade 3 intravesical prostatic protrusion, the value will be more than 10 millimeters. Now we have transabdominal approach with longitudinal views here. This is the imaginary line for easier understanding of protrusion. The grading is similar. It is a grade 1 IPP measuring less than 5 millimeters. This image shows a grade 2 IPP measuring between 5.1 to 10 millimeters. Here we can see a very large prostate. The IPP is greater than 10 millimeters. This image is in transverse view. Here is the bladder and this is the prostate. Grade 1 protrusion is very subtle. It is less than 5 millimeters. Moving on to grade 2 IPP, you can see a larger prostate gland as compared to the previous one. And finally, a grade 3 IPP. The protrusion is very large. It is greater than 10 millimeters. Prostate cancers mostly occur in the peripheral zone. They usually appear hypoechoic, but in some cases can appear isoechoic or hyperechoic. And on color Doppler, we will see internal vascularity. Here we will see Doppler signals inside the masses. Here is another image of prostate cancer. A hyperechoic mass is seen in the peripheral zone. Prostatitis is the inflammation of the prostate. The appearance may mimic prostate cancer because it also contains focal hypoechoic areas but the peripheral zone is mostly clear here. On color Doppler, increased vascularity is noted suggesting inflammation of the prostate. 
prostatitis can lead to an abscess which will appear as ill-defined hypoechoic or heterogeneous area. The prostate will be enlarged. There will be no internal flow on Doppler. However, there will be increased flow in the periphery of the abscess. Utricle cyst is a focal dilatation inside the prostate. It will appear as an anechoic cyst. Here we have a transrectal view showing a cyst. It is anechoic and has posterior enhancement. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more imaging videos.